All right, boom. Okay, uh, hey everybody, <coughs> excuse me. Hey everybody, my name is Kevin, and my friends uh, call me the tortoise guy, right? And uh, let's say happy live stream, happy Sunday, happy October uh, 22nd, everybody. And uh, hey, today, um, Kevin, is uh, doing the live stream himself hopefully sometime very soon uh, a friend of mine will come over and take over the camera work so that you guys all don't all get nauseous you know uh, because you know doing the camera work myself I gotta flip it around and all that but uh, hey if you can hear me if you can't hear me please let me know I can see the mic is hooked up anyways hey it's happy um, Sunday we do live streams every Sunday here at tortoise land or a lot of times hopefully we get out of tortoise land right uh, we were hoping today to go to uh, a really cool place in the valley called Madagascar land hey let's see Mary, Mary Stubbs hi guys hope you're all having a great day we are having a good day here in Los Angeles it is sunny out and uh, cooler weather in the mid 70s right um, and uh, let's see who's out everybody so we got some cool stuff to go over hey Kevin Shanti Shanti you are awesome and I appreciate you and Shanti is a fellow tortoise uh, owner just like Marie is okay I appreciate you all right and uh, we got a few things going on today I want to just give you a, a little uh, preview okay so there's pancake everybody okay and uh, pancake is a beautiful African sulcata flat as a pancake uh, because her story is a story of um, basically a family that loved her sorry with the camera a family that totally loved her uh, but kept her indoors the first five years of her life so that didn't go well for her um, just like it's not gonna go well let's see I gotta put my glasses on uh, okay everybody if I want to read these uh, it's just uh, it's just a normal YT. Hi, it's just a normal YT. I have a red footed tortoise right on. Okay, uh, we have several red foots here, and uh, love, love, love them. And we have two babies. How about this? How she doing? Hope she's on the mend. I'm gonna tell you how she's doing. Okay, um, uh, there's a whole story there with her. Now um, let's see. It's just a normal white tea. Again, uh, forgive me because uh, uh, the, the people, um, same, yours is a baby. Your red foot's a baby. That's awesome. Let me show you who we have here. Uh, two red foots born, as, like I said, I'm sorry, the camera work. Um, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to flip the camera around, okay, everybody? So i uh, got a lot of stuff to tell you today. Exciting things about uh, tortoiseland.org, the website that's being built um, and uh, uh, what's happening with the tortoise guy a reboot coming uh, January 1st where we're um, we're doing amazing episodes that we are, you know are edited back to what the way I started here okay um, so I'm gonna show you the baby here's here's one of our red foot so I'm gonna flip the camera around for a little bit everybody okay because you already know who I am and uh, and I want to show you what's going on here okay alrighty here we go so here we go boom ready for this how do I flip this thing? There it is. Boom. Right there. Okay, everybody. So here we are. Okay. We're in tortoise land. If you're new to um, the tortoise guy, if you're new to us, tortoise land is a 501c3 nonprofit. Okay. And who are you looking at here? OMG, everybody. This is... This is Indian Star, uh, Indian Star Senior, okay? Indian Star Senior, been here for about 16 years. You know, has a lot of pyramiding. Indian Star Senior has a brother named uh, just Indian Star Junior. Very clever name, I know, right? Okay, so look at this. How do I know that Indian Star is a boy? Well, there's a great big tail there, right? Great big tail and a really wide V. You see that, the, the, there's the space below his tail, right? Okay, the wider the V, the more likely it's a boy. The longer the tail, the more um, likely it's a boy. Because a lot of times you can't tell for several years. So he's a beautiful, so these guys are critically endangered in the wild, everybody, um, which is really a shame. And unfortunately, lots and lots of tortoise species, more and more are critically endangered or endangered in the wild, okay? Now, Tortoise Land Mountain has some pretty cool things going on I see we have um, some of our desert tortoises over here okay 
Um, and we're going to get back to the babies, okay? I want to show you the babies. We had a rehomed a baby to, uh, a couple days ago. So that's the video. If you haven't seen it, Murray, did you see the baby? Hey, have any of you had a chance to look at the customized video um, that dropped this morning? Because it's a real uplifting one. First, I had the video on Pancake uh, getting attacked and that eye getting damaged, you know. And then I was like, you know what? You know what? You know, I'm going to talk about that. But let's do a really cool, fun one, right? Okay, in the meantime, let's go down here, okay? Even though tortoise land is a small place, we have lots of places for the tortoises to hide, for the tortoises to dig. T tortoises love to burrow. Tortoises grew up in the dirt, born in the dirt, right? <laughs> Popped out of those eggs in the dirt. So, you know, I'm a big, big proponent of you got to give them lots of dirt, right? Especially, everybody, especially, um, um, let's see. Okay, who's this? I want to say hi. Okay, we have we have several box turtles here, and uh, two uh, that get to roam free uh, because they're big enough to not escape, okay? <laughs> we've, we've definitely had, um, you know, our scares with uh, missing tortoises, but these guys are pretty awesome. This is White. White is uh, 36 years old. White is a boy, okay? For the longest time, I thought White was a girl, and uh, White came with uh, her part his partner, Blue, okay? And it turns out that they're a mating pair. Uh, yes, I did, little baby Martin. Yeah, pretty cool, right, Marie? Pretty cool. That's a, a really good story there. And the woman, Sarah, is off the hook, right? She's funny and she's like sharp with it. Now that baby she got, she got at a pet store. So when she came here, you know, she's like, you know, she was like, you know, I wish she hadn't got her at a pet store, right? Because you get, because we rehome these tortoises here, these babies, right? We rehome them as well as other tortoises. So, like, if you're thinking of getting a tortoise before you go to a pet store and that, go check your local animal shelter, okay? And go check your local, see what, see what animal rescues are out there, right? Because, like us, tortoise land, you know, um, can you find Juvie and Leo? Can I find Juvie and Leo? Leo. Um, I totally can find uh, Leo and Juvie. Uh, if you give me a couple minutes, <laughs> Shanti, uh, I, can, I can find them for sure. Now, look at this with a box tail. Look at how beautiful. Now, this guy needs a beak trim. See that? Look at that beak. You got you to keep your eye on that beak and, and what you do. Oh, look who's here. This is Maya, everybody. All right. Maya is a beautiful dog. Hi, Maya. Hey. And Maya is my roommate's dog. I definitely was Rosie now has a friend right on. Okay. So uh, speaking of other animals, you might be wondering where the heck, you might be wondering where the heck is that little squirrel? Where the heck is Nikki? All right. I'm looking right now. Let's see what's, let's see who's out. You people, are, right? Find Juvie. Let's see him. Uh, oh, wait. A okay. So everybody, this is red. Okay, this is one of our red foots, of course. Uh, go, whoop, whoop, hold on. All right, this is what this is red. Hey, I hear Rocky. Come here, Rocky. Oh, look who's coming. Come here, come here, come here. Look who's coming, everybody. Beautiful Rocky. Huh? Uh huh. Right, old Piper. Come here, honey. Hi. <laughs> look at everybody. Hi. We got beautiful, right? We got Rocky. We got Piper. We got Maya. Our three doggies. And um, and here's Red. Let's see. I'm going to pull these guys out. So why aren't they out, you may ask? Well, because it's kind of chilly out, actually. Okay. Who's this? Okay. This is Nuvi. Now, Nuvi is a desert tortoise. And Nuvi... Oh, okay. Nuvi is uh, one of our several desert tortoises. Unfortunately, and Nuvi came with the two box turtles I just mentioned, white and blue. And so is also uh, 36 years old. How about that? So really just a kid. All righty. Now, Nuvi bites everybody, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see who this is. Let's see. Oh, here's another one of our red foots. This is Squirt. Squirt is a girl. Squirt's been here now for um, several months, okay? Squirt came with a partner uh, or a, you know, came came with uh, a buddy. Okay, hold on. Right here. Oh, hold on, everybody. Hey, come here. All right, let's see. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, okay? Boom. Reconnecting. Let's see. Hold on, guys. So, hey, Sam is here, uh, my roommate, okay? Uh, and um, so, that, so that allows me, Sam, when you're ready, yeah. you think you could handle the, ca the, handle the, uh, the camera for me? 
All right, that'd be really great, everybody. Hey, so, so that'd be really great because uh, then I can show you things without you all getting sick, okay? Moon Boots Monica, who usually does the live streams along with Suzanne, uh, is not available. She's super busy for the month of, uh, month of October. And hopefully we'll be back in, uh, in November, okay? And uh, same with Suzanne. So <clears throat> look what's going on here. Now this is one of our other um, uh, desert tortoises, okay? Desert tortoises, so I have several. We have several here at Tortoise Land. Oh, look at Rocky. He's, he's very loving today. Huh? Unusual for this boy, right? He usually growls at everything, right? So this is Sammy now. Sammy, believe it or not, is about 80 years old, okay? Sammy is beautiful. I call Sammy Blackie because he is darker than all the other tortoises, right? And, uh, and the unfortunate thing with Sammy is what? He bites everybody. He is such a biter, okay? And that's really unfortunate. Now, hey, what happened here? You went and got some... What, what do you got in that bag, dude? Oh. Huh? Hibiscus flowers. What is that? Hibiscus? Yeah, right? Okay. So look at everybody. Hibiscus flowers, right? Okay. This is one of the wonderful... Oh, right. Absolutely. Hey, one of the most nutritious foods uh, that you can uh, that you can feed your 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 tortoises. Right. And uh, and I also picked when walking the doggies. I'm going to show you guys some of the nutritional value of of just wild foods. Right. So um, can you can you hold the camera? All right. This is Sam, everybody. Say, Hello. say, hey, Sam. Welcome, Sam. Sam is uh, my roommate. He's a good friend. He moved in recently and we're happy to have him. Maya is his Big old dog, huh? And Hi, she Mark. could not be she could not be sweeter. And she's even sweet with uh, Nikki the Nikki the squirrel, huh? Yeah, it's very. And how about this morning? He jumped on her this morning. Nikki the squirrel huh? jumped on her back <laughs> and freaked her up. Now we're hoping here today. Here, I'm gonna flip this camera, okay? Now, if you want to flip it to turn it to yourself, first, right? You see this right here? Yeah. Like okay. that. You just do that, okay? Cool. See? Boom, you just yeah. hit that button. This tells you how many people are on right now. Two, one. This this is um, um, this is the, the, the comments people. Okay, made. I read it. To you. Okay? Right, you read it out loud like that, okay? So you just make sure every now and then that that stays blue. You see oh, that? Okay. That means it's working, right? Okay. okay? okay. All right. All right, everybody. So and so you want to look through there, not through your eyeballs, right? Yeah. To make sure we're good all the time, yeah. right? Okay. All righty. So <clears throat> look at uh, Rosie's, uh, Rosie, uh, Maya's interested in something over there, huh, Maya? Right? Okay? Right? Alrighty, so yeah, I want to show you guys a few things, alrighty? This is uh, who's totally enjoying those hibiscus flowers. What's up, buddy? Watch this. We can get down on our level, if you can, Sam. Right? Look at this, okay? So Sam just picked these, right? This is Digger. Oh, look at that, okay? Digger is... Uh, she was born right here in tortoise land, okay? She is only five and a half years old, people, okay? Five and a half years old. Hold on I want to show. Five and a half years old, okay? This is how big an African cicada <laughs> can get in five and a half years, all righty? And can get so much bigger, how all right? Big? How big? Okay, so, so, so uh, Digger is about... 60 pounds now 65 75 pounds okay and digger can get up to you ready yeah 200 pounds oh. plus okay 200 pounds plus so digger's dad is that dude right there not the guy but the tortoise that's max okay that's max and max weighed in at 110 pounds we lost him at age 22 to cancer okay there's a whole really good um, if you check the playlist for Max, um, amazing stories. He changed everything for me. He's so smart and so gentle. And he's the one who, and you saw the video, remember? I did yesterday. And what happened? Night. And what happened? It made me cry my balls. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very tough thing to do. It's beautiful. Look at Maya. Look at, look at, this is a first. Okay. <laughs> Maya, what are you doing? She's up on Tortoise Land Mountain. Right? Right? Okay. So here we go. Let's see. Okay, here, here. Right? Okay, guys, I want to show you a few things, <clears throat> and uh, I would talk about Pancake, who got bit, and, uh, and what we do about a situation like that, okay? And I want to show you, let's go this way, just so you can see. If you're new, huh? if you're new to the channel, like I said, okay, hey, everybody, so I'm Kevin, 
and my friends call me the tortoise guy and uh, so for 22 years I've been raising rehoming rehabilitating tortoises last year I decided let's make this a nonprofit many friends under their encouragement Julie especially who's a lawyer and lives across the street said Kev you need to make it this on uh, a nonprofit so that um, make it a nonprofit so that people can help people will want to help right people can help donate things and the money so that's what we did okay so we have a website called tortoiseland.org okay if you go to it if you go to it today go to it you know go, go to it now and check it out would love that okay because if we're building it it's called tortoiseland.org and soon on there, you're going to find a merch page, okay? We're, we're building it, so things might be kind of wonky and it might say something not right. But we have already up there a merch page, okay? I don't think it's working yet. It'll tell you. It'll say, not yet taking credit cards. But we will be, and you can get these cool t-shirts, okay? Every dollar goes to Tortoise Land, right? Okay, then soon we're going to have hoodies and skull caps, my favorite, and uh, baseball caps and all kinds of stuff, right? I want to show you one of our many box turtles. I showed you white over there, 35 years old, 36 years old. This is Martha. If you're from Boston, it's Martha, okay? And one of the coolest things about box turtles, if you don't know, they're what's called a hinge tortoise, right? And they have this cool hinge that they get scared. Look at this. You see that? Oh, my God. Look at it. They close up like a clam, right? Look at that. Boom and boom, right? Now, they're not really scared of me, but that gives them the ability to to protect themselves in a way that other tortoises can't or turtles can't, right? We have two Ritter sliders over there too we can talk about. Oh, look who's coming down the road. Look who's coming down the road, everybody. That is Big Red, okay? That's Big Red going on there, ready? That's right, right? And who's over here? Somebody wanted to see, hold on, uh, Leo, okay, hold on. Come on over here, okay? So, uh, hey, one of you asked to see, I, uh, you wanted to see Leo, okay? Like I said, now normally, yeah, normally these guys are out, okay? Normally they're out. All right, this guy, this is Herman. And Herman is a Herman tortoise, really beautiful, I want to show. Really, really beautiful, right? Okay, is uh, different, you know, in shape, around, okay? He's about seven years old now. And look at, just, if you scrub this guy up, just like a, looks like a jade, right? An opal, you know, just amazing. And it's really round, right? Okay, it's definitely a boy. You see that big tail, right? That's a boy. And unfortunately, this guy likes to bite everybody, you know? <laughs> we have several biters, you know? And uh, so that's problematic because, you know, that means you got to isolate him. You got to keep your eye on him, right? Luckily, he's little, okay? Okay. Now, speaking of little, I also want to show you two more over here, okay? And then we're going to go back to pancake, okay? We're going to go back. I want to show you pancake, and, and I'm going to show you the babies, and we rehome one. Now, this is a real interesting, okay? A real interesting girl, all righty? But first, let me get Leo out, okay? We had a request to see Leo, right? Okay, this is what helps keep me in shape, people. Boom, all righty? Boom, okay, ah, all right. Here's little Leo. Hi, Leo. Come on. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, buddy. Come here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Right there. Look at, look at, can you see him? Watch. What's he going to do? What? You going to try and bite him? Yeah. So guess what? <laughs> Isolation time. Okay. Isolation time. You got to, when we have as many tortoises as we have people, we have about 80 four tortoises right now of those 43 are, are juvenile babies right so it's not as bad <laughs> as it seems um, but with this many tortoises you got to keep your eye on everybody uh, and hopefully 90% of them are not aggressive I already see Sammy over there bobbing his head someone said me huh and there is my boy yeah there's Leo beautiful Leo everybody okay love Leo Leo's got his brother Spikeosaurus who's, where is he, who's, uh, it's, it's kind of cool out everybody, so the guys just aren't out like they usually are, so, you know, they'll be coming out later today, okay, all right, so because, because, okay, here's also another, this is a critically endangered, we have a mating pair, so when these guys are scrubbed up, they're just, in, uh, this is uh, Elongo, 
Elongo. Is he, he a, a desert tortoise? No, no, no. He's an elongated yellow-headed tortoise. They come from South East Asia, okay, oh. that area. They live in the forest. They love to eat things like snails and insects and that. He's on, beautiful. Oh, right. Beautiful. And fruits. He's gorgeous. He's very different looking. You see that? Elongated because you see the shell, right, is a much longer shell. Yellow-headed because you see his yellow head, right? We have a boy and a girl. So far, zero interest in each other, you know. Maybe one day... Maybe one day they'll be interested in each other, and that would be great, right? Okay, now I want to show you over here. Do tortoises cross and breed each other or no? Ah, uh, okay, that's a great question. Come on over here. Great question. Uh, is that what someone asked, or you're asking, no, Sam? I'm just asking. Yeah. You know, uh, I never thought that tortoises could cross breed. Is the blue light on? So, can you see the blue light? Yeah, yeah. Okay, solid. All right, look at this, everybody. Here's another beauty. Okay, this is. Our juvenile red, uh, uh, juvenile leopard tortoise, okay, had her since she was a little girl. Now, I'm thinking she might be a little boy, okay? I was thrilled that she was a girl for the longest time. Oh, but I see the tail. But you see the tail now? A lot of times in tortoises, you can't tell the sex until they get older. So for the longest time, she had a little stubby tail. I'm like, oh, we got a girl because we had three uh, males, right? And it's like, oh, how great it would be if they made it, right? Okay. These guys come from Africa just like the African Sulcatas do. But she's doing beautifully. In fact, she is beautiful. Huh. well, the jury's out. I'm pretty sure it's a boy. I haven't officially seen yeah, his, his okay. sexual yeah. organ. I know, I know, but I can still have a little hope, right? Okay, so, okay, we're putting her down, and we're going to put this guy over here where he can bite nobody on his own, right? Come on over here. All right. And, all right, want to go back down here and show you. So, like I said, this is our beautiful... Digger is the mascot of tortoise land, okay? Here, let me see the camera, all righty. So I consider Digger is the mascot of tor tortoise land, okay? Because she's so friendly, she's so incredibly um, beautiful, she's so incredibly curious, right? She's also so incredibly ticklish. Come on, buddy. Come on, girl, right? Okay, that she is the true mascot of tortoise land. Hey, so an, an episode we're going to drop January 1st is called the, uh, the first episode of 2004. 24 we're rebooting tortoise land everybody tortoise guy okay we're coordinating it with the with the tortoiseland.org site so that tortoise guy and our nonprofit tortoise land are in combination together it's going to be an amazing episode all right look at this okay this is see that bobbing sign that is the unmistakable sign of a tortoise giving warning uh, that they, you know, don't like you being around. This is beautiful bean. Okay. So, you know, Sammy is always out front now. Luckily, we have a whole habitat in the front. Okay. Um, where we can put tortoises that, that, uh, that bite. Okay. Hey, so kick it out. I want to show you a few things. And we're going to say goodbye for today. How are we doing on time up there? See, it'll tell you. 2304. 2304, okay. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Who's down here? All right, wait. So, you guys, Kevin, you gotta forgive me. I have like, you know, <clears throat> big time uh, ADHD for real, and I'm like, woo, all over the place. So, Sam, it's your job too to help get me back on track, all right? Or you, okay. or, right. or any of you. You can say, hey, Kev, how about getting back to a bean or getting back to pancake or whatever it's gonna be, all right? So, you can help out that way, it would be great. All right, I wanna show you a beautiful, this is, this is going to blow you away. Then we're going to come back. We're going to talk about pancake. Right, Sam? Yeah. Then we're going to talk about the babies because they need to be rehomed. Okay? And maybe, just maybe, before we end, a little squirrel is going to show up. Right? Okay? We're hoping Nicky now is a big boy. And guess what? Boom. A couple of days ago, he took his first trip on the fence and left toward us then. Okay, so let's get back. Right, let's go. Let's go over here. I want to show you an amazing thing. Can tortoises have dwarfism? Just like humans, right? Can they be a dwarf tortoise, right? Yes, they can. Point in fact. Ready? Come on. This is going to blow you away. You ready? Let's see. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Bean was born. Same time, same clutch. Uh, Max is his, her. Her, 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 her dad, Max, is 110 pounds when he passed away. Huge, right? 
So you ready for this? So Bean's sister, all right, we'll see if this holds out, okay? Bean's sister, Bean's sister, everybody, born the same time, lived the same time, same foods, <clears throat> same everything, everybody. Uh, stop, stop. Okay, it's because, uh, it's because, you say the reconnect, it's because of the angle the too. Is, <clears throat> here we go, hold on. The blue is good. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's right here. So you go, like, we got to just go back, okay? Can you, let's go, okay? Yeah. Okay, like right, don't hit the buttons, but stay right there. All right, <clears throat> so we can't go, <clears throat> we can't go further than here, everybody, because uh, we lose the Wi-Fi. But look at everybody, can tortoises be dwarfs or have dwarfism? Absolutely, okay? Can you, you can zoom in with your fingers, right? If you hold a screen and you push with your fingers, you see what'll happen? Yeah. Okay, right? So I want to show you all, okay? So there's Leo the leopard. So this is, this is Bean's sister, okay? They were born together. Coffee's the brother. Coffee's been rehomed to eternity, our, our, one of our volunteers, okay? So if you look and see the difference, can you see this, Sam? Yeah. Through the camera? You see the lumps? So born together, the, and, and poor Bean, um, unlike brother and sister and everyone else, this was genetically born from day one with troubles, okay, with problems, right? Okay, so they came from the same clutch, same everything, but she was born like this and very tiny, and she could not eat her food. Couldn't eat. She tried to eat and miss it and miss it and miss it and miss it, okay? So she spent a lot of time with me hand feeding her. She's got that beautiful little underbite. You see that? Okay. And because of the shape of her nose, Dr. Shakterly determined she has a, she has a major, it causes a major sinus problem for her. So she goes to the vet every three months. So instead of being, you know, oh, about 75 pounds, she just recently surpassed one pound. How about that? 75, one pound. Right, but she's growing great now. She goes in like, like I said, every three months, and we pump her up through the fluids and everything. She's the sweetest girl in the she world. Just and well, I don't blame her. Right? Yeah, I don't blame her. Okay. And uh, and so she's our precious, precious girl. Okay, precious girl. All righty. So she's not up for rehoming or anything. She needs special attention. Okay, and she's just a sweetheart. But I wanted to bring that up to tell you guys that tortoises, like people, you know, they too can be, you know, dwarfs and stuff. Okay, come on, over here. A couple more things I want to show you for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Check out the video we dropped this morning about uh, about. Uh, Martin, I believe she called one of Shy Girl's kids. Uh, she, she being this woman, Sarah, okay, and named, uh, named the little kid Martin, right? And we're thrilled that one, another one of Shy Girl's kids got rehomed, okay? Dogo and, said, I love you all. Who it is? Dogo. Dogo? Yeah. Dogo. Hi, Dogo. I don't think I know who you are. Um, hey, look who's here. Come here, you. Come here. Come outside. Look at this, everybody, okay? If you're not familiar with this dude, well, come here. Yeah, huh? Who, all right, world famous right here, huh? World famous? Yeah, this is Rocky, Cray Cray. This is what he does, huh? This is what he does. Look at there. Look at, look at the tortoises out in the sun, okay? Let's talk about the sun, right? I know. Let's talk about the sun, everybody, okay? Okay? All right. Yeah, okay, here we go. Look at I want to show you about the sun, everybody. Come on. All right. Lately, we've got a lot of tortoises in that have metabolic bone disease, okay? This is the most this little girl has moved her legs since she's been here. She's been, you see this? This is pretty crazy, right? She has been here. This is Squish, okay? Squish. Her original name was Franklin. Franklin came from uh, a woman, God bless her, that got her from, thank God, somebody who was raising her. She's three years old, okay? Come here, let me show you. Three years old, okay? These are Shy Girl's babies, everybody, okay? That we have raised right here, okay? From, from babies being hatched. Look at the size. Guess how old? This is, this is uh, Hugo, because guess what? Hugo's huge, right? So Hugo is nine and a half months old. Nine and a half months old, three years old, 
What happened? What went wrong here? What went right here? What went right here is we raise these guys in these nurseries with these plastic containers, okay? They're in the house. They have the UV and the infrared. But in the morning, what happens? This guy comes out, okay? They come out and they go over here, right? For 10 bucks, okay? For 10 bucks, 15 bucks, you get this kind of container. Don't get glass aquariums, okay? They're not good. They don't ventilate. They don't give you any mobility. These you could just pick right up, right? And we go like this, boom. $10, $10. For 10 bucks, you get a pool. You can order them like at Lowe's, okay? And, and they get delivered to you. And look at this. This is amazing. You use dirt, everybody. We use organic dirt. For 11 bucks, you get a huge container. It's Kellogg's, and it's, it's, it's organic. It's in a white, blue, and red, red package. You get a ton, okay? So back to this girl, okay? What happened? Metabolic bone disease. What happened? In a glass tank. What happened? Never once out in the sun in her whole life. No, no, no. Those UV lights, they're nice. They don't do the job the sun does. Why squish? Well, watch this. This is pretty gross, everybody. You, can you see this, Sam? Yeah. Okay, now watch this. So this is the plastron. Now you see this? This is like a box turtle kind of hint. You see that? Should never be like that, okay? Should be solid, okay? Solid. That's the way a baby tortoise, a, a tortoise has got to be, right? So this is what happens when you don't get them in the sun. Also, if I press her too hard on the sides, oh my God, it's a miracle that she's alive. We've been pumping her up with, with, she's in the sun every day, tons of calcium, okay? Can we reverse metabolic bone disease? No, but we can sure help her out, okay? We have another tortoise named Torga who came in, not as bad as this, but pretty bad. Now Torga is this big. Now Torga can walk up the mountain on her own. Because here, let me show you. Alrighty, let me show you. Then we're going to go to Pancake and we're going to say goodbye for today, okay? Over here, Sam, right? Look at this, okay? So, so this little girl, alrighty? This little girl, I want you to get in close on her. I'm getting close on those rear legs, okay? Getting close on her struggle, okay? And you zoomed out, right? Like you're not in too tight, right? Right? You gotta, right? Oh, yeah. Maya's good, right? Right? I want you to see those. Hey, let me see this for a second. Just let me see. All right, hold on. There, you gotta go out like that, okay? Otherwise, it's too, you're too, okay. you're too wide. You're too, too close, right? Okay? So look at this girl, everybody, okay? She can move her front legs, thank God, but she can't move those rear legs. See this? Okay? See this? All right? This is what happens, okay, when you don't get your tortoise out in the sun. This is what happens if you don't feed your tortoise properly, okay? Okay? This is what happens if you... If you put your tortoise in a, like an aquarium or in a very small pen and they don't move around, they need those things, okay? So she's doing really good now, okay? So this is Squish. And this brings up the whole issue of medical care. All right, look what happened, everybody. This is beautiful pancake. And after this, we're going to say goodbye, everybody, right? Over here, Sam. Over here. With me. I want to show you. Okay? This is, we're going we're gonna to talk about pancake, and then we're going to say thank you for watching and have a great week, right? Okay? Now, look at this, everybody. This is pancake. Pancake is another tortoise that came in uh, about four months ago. Look how flat. Now, pancake is an African sulcata, just like, just like beautiful digger over there. Here's a baby. Digger looks like this. You see the dome shell? Pancake. What the heck, right? You see the concave there too? The caved in shell? Never out in the sun, people. She's a beautiful girl. She's eight years old. And for the first five plus years, she was in the house. Never outside, not once. Okay? So that's like, you just can't do that, people. Okay? Tortoises, reptiles in the sun, okay? Right? You gotta do that, okay? Now look at now what happened with pancake, unfortunately, she's a real beauty, everybody. Hold on. Okay? And what happened, Sam, can you let's see get in there? I want to show you all. We have a really aggressive hi guys. We'll catch you next week. Bye Marie. Me, there's my boy. I love you all. Doggo. Hey, love you too. So look at this, everybody. What happened was shot beautiful pancake. I watched it happen, got bit right there in her eyeball, okay, at her eye, okay? That was about three days ago, okay? Oh, listen, you hear her? I know. Yes, tortoises can, what's that? Hold on, okay? Hi, honey, right? 
Tortoises make noises, okay? And uh, they groan and they can cry and they also can moan and, you know, express all kinds of feelings, all right? Now, what happened is you see this eyeball? So we have a new tortoise named Sharky, okay? And Sharky is an African sulcata. Sharky came in with another tortoise called um, Browser, okay? And came in because he was aggressive, right? So I brought him in, and guess what? He's super aggressive, right? And it's one thing for the tortoises to push each other around. It's another for a tortoise to bite another tortoise. That's a, not going to happen, right? So we're, gonna, we're looking to rehome Sharky, who's a really nice African sulcata, um, but needs to be one-on-one. -on -one. You don't know it till we bring him in. So what's going on with Pancake? How are we treating Pancake? Of course, we immediately brought Pancake to the vet. Alrighty. I've been cleaning the wound, right, with saline solution. This is all from Dr. Schachterly, right? We keep that wound clean, okay? Flush it out all the time, okay? And guess what? Pancake has to stay in the house. Are you, are you getting this with me too, both of us, right? Pancake needs to stay in the house. Why? Well, because uh, that's an open wound there. Thank God, Dr. Schachterly said, make sure you come in, said that uh, the bite missed her eyeball, okay? The bite missed her eyeball, okay? So her vision is going to be fine, okay? So the treatment is that she has to stay in the house for a week or so because flies, people, okay? It's an open sore, and she said that, you know, if we're not, if we're not careful and flies get in the, and land on her, they will plant their eggs in her eyeball, okay? Alrighty? So this is what we do. This is a medicated uh, antibiotic, okay? And she gets a couple drops in the eye in the morning and in the evening, okay, alrighty, and she's on antibiotics, okay, people, now, I want to tell you one last thing, all the babies are doing good, I want to tell you that we rehomed a baby this week, check out the video, we're really happy, that's about 23 of the babies that have been rehomed, we have about 38 more to rehome, okay, including Hugo, who's huge, who's nine and a half months old, so ready to get new homes. Hey, we like to, we like to rehome them in pairs because nobody likes to be alone. And two of them are going to keep each other by the company and all that, okay? And guess what? You come to Tortoise Land. We don't ship tortoises. You come here. You reach out to the tortoise guy, Kevin at gmail.com or the tortoise guy, Eternity or the tortoise guy Robert at gmail.com. There are two staff helpers, okay? And you reach out to us and say, hey, I want to come to Tortoise Land and uh, check it out. And we're going to give you like a two-hour uh, 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 show. We can tell you how we do it, how we take care of them, what we feed them, how we get them in such amazing shape, ready to come to you, okay? So that's that. So along the lines is what? We need help, everybody. We're a nonprofit, right? Pancakes injury. We have... Uh, three desert tortoises suffering respiratory stuff. That's not bad out of 86 tortoises, right? But incidents like this happen and we can't... Oh! Look who's here. Look who's here. Okay, so Patreon.com. Let me tell you. We need help, everybody. A buck a month would go so far for us. We have about $240 a month coming in and a lot of people giving us one buck. Patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. Patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. You get cool videos we drop on Tuesdays. We make only for Patreon members. Not only, you get them exclusively first, okay? So a buck a month, please consider it, okay? Go to our t website, tortoiseland.org, and look at and what we have to offer, and you buy a t-shirt, which is going to be available soon, okay? You can also go to PayPal, Venmo, and GoFundMe and help us out. Now, somebody, I wanted to show, before, let's see. Somebody's here, everybody. This is what a joy. Ready? One, two and three okay now look at here's our littlest guys this is spunky these are shy girls kids the littlest kids born it's beautiful spunky right here who's this beautiful timo huh that was going through a really rough time and had to be syringe fed at the vet twice a week for a long time again patreon.com back says the tortoise guy and the miracle baby who is it jazz were born incredibly in that incubator five, six, seven days after the jazz festival, uh, uh, you know, that we went at with 3,000 people and left in the incubator because those eggs were never going to hatch. That was Kevin. I went to throw the eggs out and because they were three months overdue. It's like, they're not going to hatch. That's my life experience. Open up the incubator. <gasps> no, sa Miracle baby. Okay. All right. One last miracle. And then we're going to say goodbye today. We heard somebody over here a minute ago, right? Who'd we just hear? Nikki! Let's see. Nikki! I don't know if you guys saw in the video here, 
Let's see. Hey, Nick, are you around? Huh? We just had a guest appearance. Bye. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, man. Hi, hi. We just had a guest appearance, right, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, okay, by a little squirrel who now is a big boy, huh? And uh, he just was here, right, Sam? I don't know what happened to him. Right, right, he just was here. He's a sneaky little guy, right? So if you've been following Nick, oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, my gosh, right here. Oh, my gosh, look at this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, look at this, everybody. Look how big. This uh, Dicky and even Sammy's now become buddies, huh? Yeah. Nikki's a big boy now. Look at Nikki's like, I don't need you, Dad, right? Um, and he's now the official uh, mascot of Tortoise Land, the official squirrel mascot of Tortoise Land, right? And we love him to death. And uh, oh, come here, watch this. Come on, come on, come on, show everybody. Come here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at, he's a big boy. Hey, so we're gonna say goodbye for today. What a great treat to have this boy here, all right? So hey, please help us out. We're a nonprofit, tortoiseland.org. Check out our site and, and help us out at patreon.com. Look at yo, okay, everybody? All right, we're gonna say goodbye for today, everybody. Take care of yourselves. All right, boom, let's see how we did. <laughs>